right guys, we're back at the house and today we are addressing the issue of the fence. And the issue is there is no fence. So let's uh, fix that issue. I've got everything we need in the truck. And the one main thing we need to do first though is dig a hole. I've got some pretty cool stuff. I'm not using concrete. I've been watching a lot of videos on that uh, foam post settings compound. And I wanted to try it and I felt like this is the perfect application for just being one post. Uh, that'll give us, uh, keep me from having to do mix up concrete just for one. So let's get started digging that hole or we'll, we'll mark out where we need to put it first and then we'll dig it and we'll get going from there. All right guys, this is what we're going to be using for setting the post, this Sitka post fix. So that's all we got to do is roll this end up, push it into this bag right here. Mix them up, 15 seconds, and we'll pour it in that hole. And while after I pour it, I'll level this puppy off. So let's see if this works. We're just gonna roll this. Show. There it goes. Six, seven. That's pretty cool. I don't care who you are. All right, guys, while this is set and we got three to five minutes to wait on that, I'm gonna start running the runners across where we can so we don't waste any time. One little trick if you guys are working on fence by yourself put a little screw right here to hold the 2x4 up while you're working on the left side and then that'll give you just one side to worry about when you go to level and back to the uh, foam stuff this stuff is cured up just break off the excess that's so cool that thing's rock solid let's throw the rest of this up for the rain hits us And boom, we're done. What used to be a gate is now a solid fence. This will fade to gray over time, but when I pressure wash, 
the house and all the fence it should uh, even it out a lot more than it is right now those are really warm but I may come back and stain it once these have dried a little bit I'm not mad it took a little longer than I expected because Home Depot was out of six foot boards this is a six foot fence so all they could give me was eight foot boards and I'm hard-headed so I was like whatever I'll cut them so we had to cut all I got what 60 boards I was six over but I still cut those other six so we had to make I was cutting them three at a time so it wasn't bad 20 cuts we got it all knocked out and um, happy with the result happy with that foam stuff too that stuff worked out like a champ fence is solid as a rock we double screwed top middle and bottom so this thing shouldn't go anywhere so with the fence being done the last thing that's left is the last thing that's left to buy is going to be one pack of roofing shingles because there are probably 10 to 15 shingles that are missing on the roof it's not leaking but when it comes to the appraisal they're going to want that fixed so i'm going to go ahead and knock that out now so i'll buy that next week i'll put those on and we'll put the remaining pieces of siding on which we're it's just one piece left now and that little bitty one at the top right corner right there once I get that done we'll just need to pressure wash like I said we're gonna pressure wash all the fence the house itself I mean you can tell from the side this thing is grimy we'll get it cleaned up get the grass cut one more time low and she should be ready both exterior and interior to rock and roll uh, they're still scheduled to move in November 1st so the house is done inside we just, uh, I'd like to get the rest of the outside done too before then, but if not, we're all good. So if you guys like what you saw, hit the thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that button and we'll see you guys next week. Peace.